Okay, hey, I'm Rob Jones, senior producer on NBA 2K. So let's talk a little about how NBA 2K became an eSport. Um, you know, we introduced the park a couple years ago, and the number of teams and, and games that have been played, you know, when we saw, started seeing how many people were playing, uh, we just thought about old crews on NBA 2K11. People were asking, hey, can we form teams? Can we, can we stay together, and can we go out and compete? So we started just you know, just putting those pieces back together, uh, loosely, you know, but um, they culminated in this great tournament that we put on this year and rode to the finals, and uh, this event was absolutely amazing. Were you guys expecting 2.4 million teams to actually enter into this? Uh, I don't know if we expected 2.4 million teams to enter it, uh, but, you know, that's a... That's phenomenal. It's actually, I think the number was 2.4 million games played okay. and 104,000 teams Whoa. that had entered. Um, but, you know, it, the engagement has been absolutely amazing for us. And, you know, and, and we can look at it as, you know, it's a new way for people to play this game and to compete and just kind of feel like they're engaged in the NBA world. Do you feel it's a more natural fit? Because a lot of times when you tell people professional video gaming, people watch people play video games. Being a sport game, is that more natural since people are used to watching NBA? Uh, I think so. I think that they can kind of relate. They can see things that they would do differently. I mean, tonight I think that as we were watching the uh, the final unfold, you know, a lot of us who were watching the other team make some certain mistakes. We were like, hey, why aren't you just going after this? Because the medium of the NBA and basketball is something that we're mostly familiar with. Can you talk a little about the team aspect? Obviously, the real NBA is all about team five on five, but what's the team aspect like for this video game tournament? Well, it's still a five on five concept. You know, we watched, um, especially during the event when we did the whole stream casting, we watched teams just kind of play together and kind of move in synchrony uh, in, in, in situations where you wouldn't think most people kind of understand that. So, you know, I, I, I saw a lot of people like dive correctly on drive so that they would be the perfect outlet or spot up in the right moment. And, uh, you know, and then play defense together, rotating, covering for each other. So there's a lot of communication that's going on, which is part of being a team sport. And I haven't seen, you know, I haven't really seen that in a sports game yet, and it's happy for us to be the first people doing it. Have you seen, uh, gotten a, uh, the sense from these guys talking to them over the course of this whole thing that practice is a big part, like it is in CS:GO and League and other esports? You know, I don't know that they pra that you can practice per se the way you know, but I think that they do come up with strategies as they're playing the games. Obviously, there's in the regular program, there's no true. Uh, concept of a record or leaderboard that makes you the best team, except in the event, obviously. But you can try your strategies as you're going on and kind of like, you know, get them together. We were just talking to the guys who won, and uh, they've been playing together since 2K11. They had a crew, uh, you know, they actually said that their team is actually comprised by 10 people, not five. Five competed today, but they normally have a full 10 that, that, that play together and kind of have that same style. When it comes to this being the first year, what are your thoughts about where you see tweaks or improvements or things as you look ahead? Well, I mean, we don't know what you know the future holds. Obviously, this is a great event for us, uh, you know, and and this I think the business is going to grow in some way, shape, or form. But we have no particular plans. You know, I think we're going to take in what happened here, you know, and how that 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 um, the qualifier like worked out. We're trying to see how things go and, and uh, figure out you know what's the best way to take 2k17 or 2k18 or whenever to the to the next level are there elements that you're looking at when it comes to the overall esports landscape you see the popularity of csgo and league of legends and dota 2 that can be applied to a basketball video game well i do you know i sit there and i look at you know how they form their leagues uh you know how they're uh how they're ranking their teams and things like that but all of that doesn't always fit in the landscape of the NBA world or our our world. So I think, like I said, we don't we kind of, you know, we kind of just said, hey, you know what? Let's try this. Let's see how it works. And now I think we're going to go back to the drawing board and say, okay, what what things that we like and what is, did, did we not like? But there's no particular plan for one yet. We've seen NBA owners like Mark Cuban and uh, Andy Miller get involved in esports. Uh, how how for esports is the NBA in general? As you worked with them on this, 
Uh, you know, I think they've always been a great partner for us. You know, when we brought up this road to the finals event, they were all for it. But, you know, I think they took the same kind of approach, the watch and see, you know, because they wanted to see what, what would come out of it. And, uh, you know, I think they partnered with us overseas. They partnered with us and did something. I don't I don't remember what the results were, you know, from from that side. But I think they're, they're taking that approach. It's like, hey, can this work? And if it works, you know, you know, how can we obviously make something of it? And you just mentioned overseas, eSports is a global phenomenon for all of these games. NBA is a global sport. Have you seen people tuning in from all over the world as this whole thing has been unfolding? Uh, we, we have, we've seen people play, you know, Pro-Am pretty much from everywhere. And so, you know, we know that, that there's, you know, there's people want to play together and compete together. Uh, you know, and, and we just try to feed that hunger most of the time when, when we when we make the game. What kind of feedback did you get from the actual pros here? Uh, <laughs> yeah, you had Paul and Kobe watching on. You know what? I actually didn't even get a chance to, to run over there. I think some of my colleagues were over there talking to him. But, I, you know, I know that Paul plays so much that to him this must have been like, you know, oh man, I can't wait to get home and tell people, you know, how, how this unfolded. I don't know if you got a chance to interview him yeah, or not. But, he uh, wants to buy an eSport team. Does he now? Yeah. Hold on. He's like Rick Fox and Shaq did it. <laughs> yeah, no, it's a, it's, um, you know, but I think, I think that seeing it, especially if you're somebody who already enjoys the sport, you know, kind of reinforces, uh, hey, you know what, this is cool.